All right, Tools of Rock here, back with another reaction video. Today we have my dad with us, and we are going to react to Baby Metal's newest song, Papa Ya. Uh, I've heard Baby Metal a few times. Have you heard the song? No, no. Okay, I haven't either. I've never heard Baby Metal at all, actually. I've heard of Baby Metal, but I've never heard this song. I thought they were kind of a... Uh, they're you they're categorized as cute metal. Cute? Yeah, it's like uh, there's three um, female vocalists, all who I think they were in the band from like age 10. Oh, wow. Yeah, they, I mean, and they're a Japanese uh, metal band. As Interesting. Well. Yeah. Cool. I mean, I like. They're uh, definitely unique, say that. Okay, yeah. Like, like I've heard uh, the only other Japanese metal band I've heard is Devaloof. Dad Aroma as well. And Dad Aroma. Yeah, yeah. Those are the two ones I've heard. So, I mean, let's just jump in and see what we got ourselves here. <laughs> I have to say, how crazy is the crowd going Dude, right they're now? They're losing their shit. And also, the stage is super dope, but but where's the guitars? And yeah, the that's the one thing I'm not happy about. It's yes. almost like an in sync performance with their freaking yeah. little microphones. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. yeah I feel, that's that's totally exactly. <laughs> I didn't know. I don't know if they've always been like this or if this is just how they're doing it now. I know they broke up for a while, mm. too. I kind of almost, like, when I'm watching this, I I feel like their music, like, I've only watched a couple videos there because I find it kind of, they're like niche, like a niche thing. Yeah, yeah. Niche totally. thing, and they're like, oh, you got to check this out kind Inter of deal. Interesting, to say the least. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know. but I'm like, uh, I'm like watching this, and it reminds me of how... Uh, in this moment, tran like right. you know how their older <laughs> stuff seemed like a lot more, and then like oh, I saw them live, and yeah, they had choreographed dancers. Like yeah, this yeah, and, and then, was... like this, I don't know if they were choreographed graph dancing in the other videos I watched because right. Yeah, you could tell they've put a lot of thought and effort yes. into their live performance, which I super dig. But so far, the song well, isn't really uh, my over over, and that neck of the world or whatever. It, yeah. They absolutely like 1980s rock stars like retire to or don't retire. They move over there because they're still rock stars yeah. over yeah. there. Yeah. We were just talking, I think off camera about Racer X and Paul yeah. Gilbert moved to Japan for like yeah. a solid couple of years at least because he was huge in J Japan. Yeah. You uh, watch like even in Europe too. Europe has an amazing music scene where they like have these festivals where you can't see the end of the crowd. It's That's like, how crazy. do those people even, like, they're not even close to the stage. Yeah. But they just want to be part of this, like, movement, this gathering, yeah. you know? Yeah. And, yeah. Cool. So, yeah, watching this, you're like going, why can't we, we can't get five people to show up. <laughs> I know, show. it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, let's continue, though.
<laughs> is that DJ Khaled? <laughs> dude, it's, it's F Hero, dude. Oh, that's right. I, I Who's that? I don't F Hero. Know. I don't know who it is, but he's featured in the song. Let's uh, let's see what he brings to the table. <laughs> Getting that crowd was mesmerizing. Yeah, man. You know, yeah. honestly, some of the instrumentation was kind of progressive in some ways yeah. and heavy. I kind of liked the instrumentation. I have to say, though, I wasn't the biggest fan of the vocals. The, yeah, just the, the repetitiveness. The repetitiveness yeah. as well. It was like a pop song over. Yeah, metal, it was definitely a pop metal song. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But. Uh, Really cool the, video. Crowd was fucking dope. Yeah, yeah. The video yeah. was. That was one cool. of the most energetic crowds ever. Well, it, it's like that's what I was. I was. You know, we don't know what they're singing. They might be singing, "Get your hands up in the fucking air and wave <laughs> those towels." You know, right. <laughs> totally. <laughs> because they were that's the crowd, <laughs> like <laughs> whipping those things over their head like constantly. Yeah, that was that's a lot. That's a lot of exercise. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you remember Skin Dread? Yes. Uh, that uh, rapper reminded me of Skinner. Yeah, yeah, Skinner was... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> it was interesting how they they had the rap verse yeah. as well over it. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, not really my style, not my favorite song, but... Yeah, but you've never heard anything like it, right? I've never heard anything like it. Again, I like interesting, I like right. weird, and this was definitely nothing less. And this is like their latest video, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, so picture these... The, these little girls being like a lot little yeah, yeah. <laughs> they've, been, <laughs> they've been doing this for like ever yeah so been. it was i think it was even more interesting when they were younger because it's like right you're right. just going what the heck am i seeing here yeah I like, like i'm pretty sure this is like their reunion album or something they've been gone for four or five years at least that's what i heard hmm and i watched like a loudwire wikipedia okay fiction. i love those those are good yeah um but yeah I mean, I guess that about does it for this video. Yeah. Uh, if you like these reactions, make sure to subscribe, and we get as, or we will see you on the next video. So come and see.